Welcome to my YouTube channel, Changing Times. Today is September 1st, 2020. Today we are starting a new chapter in my life. We are starting keto. Um, last year I went on keto for a period of time. I was very successful, but I stopped. And I wasn't quite educated enough to do it and continue it the way it should have been done. So I started keto again. Um, I actually started about two or three weeks ago as an experiment to see whether or not I wanted to continue with keto or not and how it would go. And the big wake up call for me was when I had to go get uh, an MRI and I couldn't get into the MRI machine and now I have to go uh, outside the city to get an MRI in a bigger machine. And um, my back and my body is totally out of sync and I keep losing my balance and I'm realizing now that uh, after these last three weeks I've been on uh, keto experiment one that um, my weight is the main factor why I'm losing my balance why I feel the way I do I'll be updating my weekly monthly uh, videos how well I'm progressing um, some of my own unique recipes uh, and just giving you overall updates of how my health is doing. I've been pretty much big all my life. I just don't want to be big anymore. It's not a question about losing weight. The losing weight part is just a bonus. It's more a question about um, being healthy, losing weight healthy and safely. I am under a doctor's care to lose the weight. I am no doctor, believe me. And keto might not be for you, but for me to make this this change, my, I'm 64 years old now, and I have to make a change. And uh, the only one that can make a change is you. I, I'm a videographer by trade. Over the last 10 years, I fell in love with video and photography. And when you want to do a lot of outdoor photographs and video, being out of shape is not in a good place. And uh, so going forward, I'm, for this coming year, there's a lot of... Uh, plan and works that I want to do with video and photography. Um, one of my main goals and function that I want to do is jump out of an airplane. But uh, and like in most states, there is a weight restriction and that's a big part of me losing weight. But the main goal is to get healthy and stay healthy and live longer. When you lose weight or when you go on a weight loss journey, uh, nothing's a guarantee that you're going to live today, five minutes from now or or two years from now, but I, I, for me, I, I have to do this. I want to lose the weight, and I know I'm going to do this, and I know I'm going to be successful at it, at this. Um, I know about keto, and a lot of people say, oh, you're doing keto, and you get that you know negative look from people. Um, I'm going to tell you something about keto. As an experiment, three weeks ago, the middle part of August, actually the second week of August, I tried an experiment. I did it, what's called the 16 to 8 intimate fasting. Basically what that means is between 11 in the morning and 6 at night is when my opportunity that I can have something to eat. And I'm counting carbs, net carbs, and I'm counting my macros to make sure I'm getting what I'm supposed to be getting for uh, foods in my, my journey and my water. And I have coffee in the morning. I, I'm still using Splendor. I'm having a hard time breaking off of that. And I'm drinking my coffee right now with light cream, but uh, I'm going to be switching that. I, the thing of it is, when you're on a limited income, I instead of just throwing all the stuff, throwing away all this bad junk, I had to slowly use it up to get rid of it. And uh, so, when, so that's what I said. It's starting in September. Everything's everything changes. Uh, being on a limited income, it's tough on being on a budget, being on keto, but. When, if, if you buy a pound of ground beef, say for instance, and you're paying like $10 or whatever, whatever it is you're paying, it's no different than buying all kinds of snacks and, and, and eliminating the snacks, the bads, the trans, the trans fats, the chips and all that fatty junk that we're not really supposed to be eating and then swapping it off for uh, something healthy like a, like a good piece of uh, grass-fed ground beef or something like that. And uh, the... Uh, the uh, farm eggs, the fresh farm eggs instead of the grocery store eggs and stuff like that. But um, those are my, some of my goals uh, going forward. Um, 
Now, getting back on uh, the intimate fasting, I now I'm 64 years old, never did not anything like this in my entire life, uh, fasting. And I didn't cheat once, I'm real proud of myself. So when I, uh, and I weighed myself, but I took a nice photograph of that. And uh, so, the, so the official starting weight in the month of September going forward, this morning when I weighed myself, I'm 311 pounds. So in the three week time frame, I lost pretty close to 15 pounds. And for exercise, because of my back and my health and my weight, What's going on with my leg? I'm I'm losing my balance on my right side. It's just collapsing, and 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 I and that's why we had to go get an MRI to find out what's going on with my leg and my back. I suspected that we, the doctor suspected it was all coming in from my my lower disc, my L, one of the L4 or L5 discs that are causing the issue, and uh, I I believe that it can be corrected with weight loss and pain management. And knowing what my, my ability is going forward. I do not want to get surgery. It's the last thing I want to do. Um, I may want to go for another treatment on my back with uh, a shot in my back, but try that again. But um, yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. But right now, um, I'm just wrong. I'm getting out there every day. I'm doing exercise. When I'm doing, how I'm doing exercise, I'm walking. Uh, there's sometimes I walk three times a day. The best day I had one day this past during the three weeks, and I lost the uh, 15 pounds. I went walking three times that day. The first time I went walking two hours. Then the afternoon I went walking one hour. And then at nighttime I went walking through our local farm. I I did through the apple orchard. I did like a two and a half hour walk. And if, I've been feeling really really terrific. I no more soda, no more sugar. I'm trying to use the, uh, I switched over to the Himalayan salt, which is the better healthy salt. I'm taking vitamin D3, my men one a day vitamin. Uh, most of the time I've been pretty much pain free now in my back area. And I really encouraged by my weight loss so far up to date. But again, my official starting date is September 1st. But anyways, this is Ron. Don't forget to share and like my uh, YouTube channel. From time to time I'll be putting in uh, Updates from my weight loss journey, as well as the uh, the other videos that I do. I'm current with some projects I'm currently working on, and I'm taking a lot of uh, time lapse video. I'm learning the process. It's like with the weight loss, everything's a process and a learning process. I'm a videographer by trade. I'm self-taught. I never went to school for video, but I had won awards for my work, and uh, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say for now, but be watching. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, once again, I started out my weight at 325 pounds. The official starting weight is 311. My goal weight is 180 pounds. Realistically speaking, I would probably be happy and satisfied if I could get my weight down to 200. And... Um, I'm going to be documenting this, documenting this journey, the entire process. And uh, so I just wanted to sign off and say, have a good day. Thanks. Hi, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, Love and Keto, Ron's weight loss journey, and also uh, Keto Cooking with Ron. I do have two channels now. And uh, if you're a member, welcome. And if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel? or channels it helps other people know when they post the latest video and before we get started i'm not a medical doctor i don't make any medical claims this is all based on my own personal journey so please do your homework first wow that was really me a couple of years ago i started my journey on august 17th of 2020 and uh, started posting videos on september 1st 2020 and it was just basically to document my journey to see how far I wanted to take my weight loss and uh, try to get healthy over the course of the last two years. And uh, boy, did I change. You could really see in my face compared to the old video that's playing above the timeline, some little clips of my uh, big puffy face and my caught my turkey gobbler. I was referenced to it all the time as I wanted to lose my chin. And now you can actually see my, uh, my neck bones. And uh, 
Yeah, so I started on uh, the weight loss at 325 pounds on August 17, 2020, and as of today, I'm 210 pounds. So I lost uh, significantly well over 120 pounds from my heaviest from uh, 336 back in January of that year. We talked to the doctor about many, many, many plans, and I, I actually did try uh, everything. I had some uh, luck with Weight Watchers, uh, that now WW, and uh, what I liked about that particular plan was you could, it wasn't restricted like keto, and uh, you just went by your points, and I had a phone happen with scanning items and just tracking my food, and once you reached your, um, your point, then you were pretty much done for the day, and if you did some exercise, you can add some more points in. And that's basically how I'm doing now, ketogenic lifestyle. So I cut my carbs down from an astronomical amount down to about 27 net carbs a day and the calories around 2,000 a day. And I don't go over those calorie count and carbs. And, you know, you can have stuff. You just have to be vigilant, careful what you eat. And every now and then I'll throw in a, a cheat day and I don't have a problem with it anymore. And I don't, have, I don't feel guilty about it. And I just go right back on my plan the next day. If I want regular french fries and a hot dog or a hamburger and a regular hamburger bowl, or even a regular pizza, I'll have it once in a while. But I don't feel guilty about it and I don't beat myself up about it and I'm not going to have any pity parties about it anymore. It is what it is. So it's just part of life. You just have to move on. So that's how I've been pretty successful. And, uh, you know, I got the, on the new cooking channel, I've been putting up recipes. Um, what, what happened was I started a channel a while back ago. I had about four videos, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue doing it or not. So I got the nutty idea, I said, why don't I just try and see what happens, and uh, to my surprise, I have about 250 new followers, and, uh, you know, and like, and probably in about a two-week time, and I have over 60 videos posted, I have over 100 other videos for recipe creations that I've done over the last two years that I filmed, and I never put those up for whatever reason, I go, why, why did I never put these up? And here's what the deal was. I always thought that nobody wanted to look at what, who cares what Ron eats in a day. And, and then I'm realizing after checking out many, many videos and YouTubers and uh, you guys and gals are all marvelous. And, and I, I never felt comfortable doing recipes. And I kept saying to myself, well, what if I mess up and I, I swear and, you know, say tablespoon and meat and I meant uh, teaspoon or stuff like that. <laughs> and... Uh, so, you know, just, I just edit those videos and I'm now I'm starting to go back all to all those old videos, re-editing them and putting them up on the channel and, it, and my channel is blowing up. I couldn't believe it. And I'm also putting the, those videos up on my regular channel and uh, I'm saving the outtakes. I mean, all, all those little swears and when I fight and burp and, you know, it's, it's not, you know, I'm doing it like an outtake like bloops, bleeps and blunders are the best of Ron outtakes and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll clearly mark that it's got uh, language you're not appropriate to, to young people. So, so and then if it's too inappropriate, I'll go like uh, Tony Beats on on Cold Rush. I'll use the uh, uh, the beginning of the word and the end of the word with some asterisks in between and like beep 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 and that sort of thing. So, so those are going to be pretty funny outtakes. So be watching for those down the road. But yeah, um, in my weight loss journey update. Um, I talked about going skydiving and uh, not being in the uh, appropriate way. Well, I am the appropriate way to go skydiving, but here's the deal. I'm not afraid of heights. I would love to go skydiving, but the problem with the skydiving is it's risky. And I just had a hip replacement back in June. And in my previous video, on my first video, we had talked about, uh, you know, how I kept losing my balance and stuff like that. And wake-up call was the MRI going to Worcester. And uh, after all that, after almost uh, mm, not quite two years, we found out it was my hip that was causing all my problem. So back in June 27th, we had uh, hip replacement up in Boston. And I feel like a young kid, oh yeah, we also had hernia surgery about a week later. So we, we had quite a bit going on for me. And uh, I feel absolutely fantastic now. I don't have any more pain. I don't need my cane anymore. I can walk five to ten miles a day with no problem. I, I do that on that on a regular basis, though, on that five to ten miles. But I usually go about three or four miles. And I absolutely love walking. And that's how I lost a lot of my weight. Back in 2020, when we had this, I uh, joined the gym. And, I, you know, they closed this past year, which I 
was really sad about. But um, I don't go to the gym no more because personally, I think it's a waste of money, but you do you. I can, the exercises at the gym, I can do here at the house or I can get my own exercise bike. You know, unless you, you know, if you got a gym uh, set up at your house, that's great. If you got room for it, I don't have room for it. If I had a garage, I'd probably set up a little home gym for myself and uh, do some exercises. But how I do my exercises, guys, I just go walking and I love walking. I can put on my uh, Spotify playlist and uh, nobody bothers me. I put my street vest on now and I just go walking and I'm happy go lucky. People pull over. Actually, have people actually pull over and want to stop and talk to me, which is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it's been a real pleasure helping you guys. And uh, the reason why I did all this was just to document my journey. I wanted to see how far I could take it. And I, I didn't know if I was going to continue it or not. I have everything all written down in Word doc. I don't know if anybody wants to write a book about me and my life history. I, I have it all together. I, I'm not too sure how to do that. So maybe I might do that at some point. Uh, I did a couple of... Uh, interviews at the radio, uh, local radio station with Mary Ellen and you know, hoping she invites me back to do another interview at some point and uh, yeah so going forward I'm still volunteering for the city um, just recently got a payout from the city after complaining about it for a long time what really kind of got me about that was they, I got my check this today, actually yesterday and uh I looked at the date when they cut the check out. It was me like two weeks ago, and it, and it was and it goes. Why did they hold on to it for that long? They could have just called me up and let me know it was there, and I wouldn't have been complaining so much. So, but um, I'm glad they paid me. Thank you very much for that, and uh, you know I won't complain anymore. But you know it, and also I'm I doing a video for this about a local parish for the flea market. I went up there the other day and did some video, and it like how the video came out. So I'm going back down there today to do some video again going to try to take my time with it this time. Um, she gave me a gift card for Hannibus for $25. She says, Ron, I says, I says, I know how you feel about taking charity. And I, uh, you know, uh, last year you, you put up a video and we drew, we drew almost an extra four to 500 people that we normally wouldn't have gotten. And I wanted to give you this. And so she gave me a $25 gift card for Hannibus. And I want to thank the, uh, the, uh, being old people for that and St. Cecilia's Parish. I do things from my heart and, I, and when somebody offers me something, I don't usually like to take it, but when somebody says they're gonna pay you something and I don't get it, then I get really riled up about it. But I just didn't know what the problem was. There was no problem in that first check. It was just the idea, it just took that long, typically when you're new, when you're starting out. And uh, so going forward now, if I do any volunteer work for the city and they offer me anything, it would just go right into that account and I could just go pick it up and they have it ready. And uh, I was kosher with that. I still don't know if I want to continue filming for the city and on. I'm thinking that this might be my last year. It might, a Mr. Colonial Band might be my last that concert that I might film out in the uh, Christmas special. And uh, I'll make the form formal announcement probably to the studio before the, uh, when I go get the uh, camera gear for the that particular uh, series and uh you know just leave it as that and it's more for personal reasons than anything else but i am involved now with the uh um, emergency management and uh that's going to take a lot of my time i'm thinking about going back to work i got an interview today with another job possibility for part-time maybe full-time i don't know yet and uh that's also going to eat up some of my time but in the meantime, I'm going to continue to crank out the recipes for um, the new YouTube channel and the uh, current channel. And uh, yeah, so it's been it's been really good. Uh, you know, uh, the other channel I talked about doing 16-day intimate fasting. I, I don't do that anymore. I eat when I'm hungry and I stop when I'm not hungry. And if I want to if eat after 6 o'clock, I eat after 6 o'clock. It's pretty much that simple. Now, I'm not able to weigh myself in, which is a good thing and a bad thing. My battery died on the scale, so I gotta uh, pop it open and uh, get a new battery. So it'll probably be a while before I get a battery, maybe another week or so. But, uh, and then, then if I can't uh, find a battery, I just get another floor scale. But I don't wanna spend $60 like I did for this one. It's too expensive. We just bought a new air fryer. This is like the third air fryer. The first one I didn't like, I never opened it up. Brought it back, got another one, had it for a week, loved it. 
the damn, damn stinking handle fell out of my hands. Cause it's got a little lever switch when you pop like that and, we, and the whole thing fell and it broke. So I brought it back to uh, Coles and they, they, they were okay with it and they, they gave me a new one. I had that for a little while and the screws kept loosening up on the damn thing. And then the screw from the overhead popped out and they couldn't figure out where it went and it was making a weird noise. So I junked that air fry and I bought a new one and I'm not buying another one if that might happen to this one. But um, I really love it. I do cook a lot of stuff with it and you know, not everything fried, but you know, like I said, I, I just can't believe the uh, new food channel that I have. This is mainly for, uh, that rest channel is going to be mainly for recipes, but every now and then I'll throw up a motivational video. I'll do some grocery hauls and what to eat on a budget and how to, you know, if you're living on some borrowed money, like social security money like we are. Or like if you go over to a house for uh, Thanksgiving or something like that. And, uh, you know, all kinds of different recipes that I want to try. And, uh, you know, you might find it pretty interesting. Here's something I thought was pretty interesting as a joke last night. I mentioned to my wife about maybe I ought to do a video on how to boil water. And it, and it just cracked me up. I goes, I mean, come on, really? You guys don't know how to boil water? You just put some water on the stove and boil it. Oddly enough, there's quite a bit of videos up there. One guy's got over 31 million hits on a video just to boil water. I said, you got to be effing kidding me, you know? So I said, okay, well, maybe I'll just do one just for giggles for water and just maybe we can get a couple of laughs out of it, you know? But, uh, yeah, and, you know, it's, it's been really a pleasure, really, guys, inspiring you and you inspiring me. And, uh, you know, I would recommend if you're new starting out, Try to do this with a friend because it makes it much, that much more pleasurable when you go walking. Uh, I love walking and I always did. And uh, my friend Mary, uh, she's a sweetheart and she's always walking with me. And uh, some, you know, she did, she's up, sometimes she's just tired. She doesn't feel like uh, walking and she's got housework to do and, you know, her own stuff to do and her own personal life. And I get that part of it, you know, you know, and I, and I sometimes I get, uh, she just don't want to go walking anymore or whatever. But uh, she does work out in the morning. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're just too tired. And so, uh, you know, I like to go walking. And, and if you, you know, you live locally and you want to go walking with me, give me a text. And, you know, I'm always looking for a walking buddy. Uh, somebody to take photographs with me, and you know, and uh, that sort of thing. And I highly recommend if you're new and you're starting out in weight loss, take photographs and measurements and just document your journey on little video clips and store them on your computer in a hard drive. And even if you don't edit them and don't know how to edit them, just leave them there. Eventually you might want to figure it out and put it together like I'm doing with a YouTube channel. And it's, you know, it's pretty much that simple. But uh, yeah, so I hope you really enjoyed that. I'm gonna continue doing recipes and doing weekly and daily updates and continue posting some older videos from time to time yeah, so we can all get a good chuckle out of it together. And uh, you know, I'm just in the process of also reorganizing my hard drive. I'm putting the uh, everything by dates and the event or the place that I took the photographs. And uh, I'm trying to be as accurate as I can with the dates because I'm realizing that um, you can click on your photograph and do a right properties click and you can go into detail and it tells you what camera you use and it tells you the date that you took the photography photograph or video even and uh, you know I'm being more precise with everything now because I had some uh, it took me about a week and a half to find some photographs a local chamber of commerce wanted some photographs of the pink flamingo and the uh, Featherstone Day that we have in June and the Groundhog Day that we have over here in uh, February and uh, I had photographs and video so I, I grabbed as many photographs as I could and I shared them out with them and uh, you know so if you do it that way and set it up by years maybe I'll do a whole video on that on, on the YouTube channel there just so you guys know how I set everything all up and that to make it easier for you for archive and photographs because when you with me, I've done a lot of volunteer work in the last 12 years. Well, it's since 2012, and I'm doing for the city. And when you're doing a lot of photography and video for the city and, or, or an employer, you're going to want to be able to find those if two years later they go, hey, do you have that photograph that you took? And, and, uh, and then if you're like me and you put them in a hard drive and you just put them any old way and you can't figure out where they are, You'll be glad that you did it this way because uh, and do it right away so you don't forget and uh, don't just leave them sitting hanging on your computer because you never know what if something happens to your computer and it accidentally gets uh, 
a virus on you and you wipe out all your files or something like that. Always back your work up like I do. And I back my uh, work up on about four or five to high drives. So, I, uh, yeah, so that's how I pretty much store all my photographs. But anyways, I guess I, I rattled off enough for today. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for all you new ones that just recently joined me. I hope you have a terrific day. Um, we're going to be posting week uh, 115 update this week. Yeah, that's coming Monday. I don't begin. I, I got no uh, scale to weigh myself in. So, but I, I feel good. I, I mean, I, I'm not bloated anymore. My tummy and, you know, I, I feel absolutely fantastic. So I'll let you guys go. You guys have a great day. Remember, you guys are always amazing in my eyes. And thank you for supporting me. And uh, thank you for inspiring me. And I hope I continue to inspire you guys to get out there and get healthy. No question, it's too dumb. If you want me to film something, uh, like a, in that local city, uh, uh, we live in New England and we got a lot of nice fall photographs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up to the farm this week and grab out some more video for a, a motivational uh, video vlog. And uh, then I wanna do is keep doing the recipes. But anyways, thank you for joining me. Hope you guys have a great week, great day. And uh, you guys are amazing, love you guys.